All right, this video is specifically for George, as I know how much you like the new eggs deck. So I randomly queue up against it while practicing in the tournament practice room, and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, I don't have game one for you. Uh, for some reason, it didn't save for accurately, but game one, I was on the play. I had a really fast draw, and I think I was like turn four. I had uh, all three pieces, and not just the Kitchen Finks version, but I even had Murder's Red Cap. So even though the infinite life from kitchen finks won't actually suffice to beat eggs uh i had enough to actually kill him that turn so the game was over in like four turns but this one however uh in game two is much more interesting i even still had a good draw like as you can see all this is really good and or actually i believe this is game one all right all right so this is game one so um i guess i did have game one i guess that means i don't have game two i don't know Game two or game three is missing. Basically, I um, turn three, pull out Finks to set up for Murder's Red Cap, and uh, he just plays some artifacts, digs a little. I play out my guys and go get Red Cap, and he just scoops. All right, so I believe it was game. I think this is game three. That's why it's weird. Uh, yeah, this looked like my game three hand. So, game two is the good one, unfortunately. Uh, but on game two, he uh, he was also about the same as, you know, speed as he was last game. He just started playing artifacts and drawing cards. But I didn't have the same speed draw. I got stuck on, like, two lanes for a while. But I had the Aether Sworn Cannonist here. And so he couldn't play multiple Sunrises in one turn. So he definitely couldn't go off. And then I played Harmonic Sliver, blew up one of his Lotus Blooms. Copied my Har Harmonic Sliver, blew up two more artifacts. Um... So it really set him back, but eventually he just, he had one big turn where he played one big second sunrise, and that drew him, uh, like, 12 cards. He found the py uh, Pyrite Spellbomb, killed the Cannonist, and then I also had out at the time my um, Gaddock Teague, so he couldn't play Face Reward because it was four mana, and he can't play cards four mana or greater. He also could play Reshape because he couldn't play spells with X in the cost. And just in case he was playing the... Uh, Oh, the red X spell that can't be countered. Banefire, in case he was playing Banefire, I thought he would be useful there. So I had him pretty locked out, but eventually he kills it there. And once he had the Pirate Spell on he and killing the Candidus, he could replay more Sunrises. So he played Sunrise, got it back, killed the Gaddock Teague, and then eventually used uh, Bitter Ordeal, which Grave Storms. And so he killed me that way, which is really cool. Um, this game, however, I thought I had a really good draw. I'm like, okay, so I got turn two Candidus, turn three or four, I can core out the... Um, Gaddock Teague so he can't reshape. And so that's what I do. I get a few beats in. He had the cool double Lotus Bloom draw. And yeah, here I just take his uh, Pyroclasm, which he happened to have with my Duress. I wasn't expecting that at all. Like, I've never seen any less play Pyroclasm, but that's like obviously the perfect card against him. And that He had, I think, Pyroclasm and like a land and artifact in hand, so that was really good. So it's like, okay, so I can still get this. He derps a little on his turn. Not ready to go off. I sacrifice a turn of attacking to go get... Um, my Gaddock Teague to make sure he can't reshape and do shenanigans. And here's where it gets interesting. Um, he plays this thing, I'm like, oh crap, and he guess he drew a Pyroclasm. And so, well, that just kind of wins him the game, basically. I mean, if I draw creatures and he doesn't go off in a few turns, I might be able to pot into the combo, but I think I don't even get another turn after this. He just uh, he just starts going off. As soon as you start seeing him ghost courting his own lands, he's going to go off. And so... Um, yeah, that was my funny story about getting steamrolled games two and three with pretty good draws for that. I drew both of my good hate cards, except for my graveyard hate, but, um, yeah, it was pretty sad. He starts making a bunch of things. He gets Pirate Spellbomb and kills me. He doesn't kill me with Bitter Ordeal here because, uh, he had to go. He technically conceded the game against me, um, but he obviously won, so. I thought you'd think that's pretty interesting, but, um, Gravestorm is the cool part. It was, uh, three mana. He searches my... Or it's called Bitter Ordeal with Grave Storm. He searches my library for a card and exiles in, in Grave Storm. It's like Storm. But instead of for each spell you cast a turn to copy it, it's for each card that went to the graveyard that turn. And obviously, by sacking all of his uh, artifacts over and over and over and bringing back Second Sunrise, he Grave Storm for like 50. And I only had 40 something cards in my deck, so it was pretty cool. Anyways, I thought you might find that interesting. 